Get the f out of here! You can you look Please. at my breast? Watch this if she wants to leave. I'm a child having a temper tantrum. I throw you in here. I'll take you the f out. I'm on so many drugs. I swear. But which one about cold thing? You've never ever done that ever. Never. Leave me alone. The Jersey Shore cast is concerned for their fellow reality star, Angelina. They are worried about possible addiction issues when it comes to getting plastic surgery and using prescription drugs. Recently, she was charged with attacking someone in her home, and her own lawyer blamed it on Angelina mixing medication. So let's get into it. <music> Now, I'm not here to judge Miss Angelina from the Jersey Shore because she's the last person that I would want to get into a fight with. But I did want to do a little check in because she's found herself in some trouble. I mean, let's go ahead and unpack this headline. It reads Angelina is facing assault charge and others. Her attorney cites bad RX reaction, a bad prescription mix that led to her, I guess, possibly assaulting someone off the bat if her attorney said that it's due to a bad medication prescription they should be fired because that's already kind of taking the blame like you're saying yeah she did do it but it was because of her bad pills but really that's no one else's fault but her own and possibly a doctor maybe there needs to be a full investigation reports write that the 37 year old reality star is facing a string of criminal charges stemming from an incident last week in new jersey the charges include simple assault criminal mischief, obstruction of the administration of law, and resisting arrest. If she's been resisting arrest, I'd love to see that body cam footage. Now, it looks like we don't have a lot of information of what exactly went down here, and there's no information available because it's confidential at the moment. The police said the nature of whatever happened at Angelina's house is under wraps and they're not able to disclose. The reason that was given to TMZ, they report, there are legal exemptions for releasing that type of information publicly for domestic violence cases or criminal investigations. Now, Angelina's attorney says that this is nothing more but a very minor incident that was exacerbated by an adverse reaction to prescribed over-the-counter medication. Angelina is home resting and has no further comment at this time. We probably will learn more about these charges because she will be seen in court in July, but until then, it's probably under wraps. I'm very interested to hear how all of those charges came out of a not serious situation. Um, we, I would say we shouldn't have to wait too long because she goes into court again in July, but that could be a very simple hearing where we don't find out much. That's all there is for now. Angelina charged. She is home. We'll be back in July. Now, her fiance, Vinny, and no, not Vinny from the show, but her fiance was home at the time. And we did learn that um, Angelina committed an act of obstructing by purposely running from a uniformed officer in an attempt to run into a house, lock the door, or prevent law enforcement to conduct a domestic violence investigation, which makes me question if she got physical with her fiance. And it all was drug induced, which sounds really messy. Now, the victim, whose name was redacted from the complaint, suffered bodily injury as a result of Angelina striking him with her hands causing scratches redness and a complaint of pain to the victim's hands this all resulted in a simple assault charge which I do know in multiple states that if there is a domestic violence incident the state will pursue charges even if Vinny theoretically her husband said that he did not want to pursue charges the state will take it into their own hands now the criminal mischief charge actually stemmed from Angelina striking the victim's vehicle with her hands and causing damage under $500. While investigating the complaint, the victim provided a statement to police and presented officers with a video of the criminal mischief according to the affidavit of probable cause in this case. Now, it looks like he has no comment. Vinny hasn't said anything and his attorney has not put out a statement, but they are still living together. Now, this isn't the first time the police have visited them in their home because Angelina called police after an alleged altercation at the home, but declined to press charges. The case is now closed and the two are still together and living together. According to page six, Vinny denies anything that would cause any domestic violence. He denies anything like that ever occurred. There's been no further comment between Vinny or Angelina at this time, but this is the latest news on the Jersey Shore Stars. 
Now, obviously, the Jersey Shore has a large audience, so there's a lot of people invested in their lives and questioning what's going on with Angelina. On Reddit, this person started a thread by writing, Angelina is abusing drugs, and that's why she's all over the place. This person wrote, I think she lashes out way too much. It's crazy how she wants to fight all the time. It's exhausting to watch. This reply reads, I was like that when I was addicted to opioids. The littlest thing set me off, and I had absolutely no problem fighting anyone. Glad those days are over. This person wrote, she's literally nodding out in one scene and flying off the handle in the next, and then staying in her room and refusing to come and see her castmates. These are all signs of drug abuse. She's clearly addicted to plastic surgery, which means she's constantly prescribed heavy painkillers. That was not happening 15 years ago. Her telling people off is nothing like how she is now. And I have to admit, people who are using drugs, they do completely change and their temper changes and their reaction and their reaction time. So if she's displaying these signs, it could be, a, you know, a hint and also her lawyer even acknowledged that she was mixing up drugs which led to this incident this person wrote you can tell she could barely hold her eyes open people yell oh fake lashes no she's zonked Angelina is definitely going through some things. Before Angelina got here, we discussed having a sit down with her. Maybe you could sit her down and everybody can go around the room. And you're just telling somebody how their you know, behavior has impacted uh, affected, our life. Yeah, all of us. And to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know if it's the right time. At the end of the day, we don't want negativity. So I really just want to find out if she's okay and also let her know how we really felt. We've been worried about you. Everybody has arguments with anybody, it affects all of us. We don't mind any of that. It's nice that everybody's like really concerned for me, but I haven't really seen it from some people. I just look at her and I can see the look in the eyes. Now, this person added to that Reddit thread, my friend and I said the same thing. It's giving drug abuse, and I really hope she gets the help she needs. It's sad to see a person spiraling. This person wrote, I think it's self-medicating. She's been through a lot lately, and she doesn't seem to know how else to deal right now. This person wrote, I don't know what kind of painkiller she's taking, but they never made me do that weird stuff. She might be on some kind of prescription diet pill that's making her go a mile a minute because she's always hyped up. Well, I do know that Ozempic does have a weird effect with alcohol, which if you guys are open about your Ozempic, comment below, because my friends that I know that are on Ozempic, they can't really drink. They get like kind of sick. They'll like want to throw up. So maybe she's having a bad reaction if she's on Ozempic, but... If you guys are open, share your personal um, reactions below. This person writes, I was just saying this to a friend that in the episode where she was freaking out at the bar and in the bathroom, I was like, OMG, she's having a manic bipolar episode. She continued, I've personally experienced them before, but one of the lesser known symptoms, especially in women, is anger. Ooh, all signs pointed to that for me. So it seems like everyone has an opinion when it comes to the diagnosis. Why are you freaking out? I gotta go to the I feel like I'm talking to a child who just had a tantrum. What? You're saying I'm like a toddler, like having a tantrum. I don't understand. What, what happened? There's nothing. There's nothing. There are things that I could have called that are way worse than a toddler. What is happening? Honestly, it's There's so nothing. bizarre. What is I happening? No idea. Did I miss something? Who the f are you to tell me that I'm, it's like a tantrum? F you bitch. I brought you back. You she's a f ass. She's a Who? She's an ass. She's an ass. Danny. Here we go. She called me a just wait, 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 wait. No, I didn't hear that. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't hear Sammy call anyone anything. I didn't hear her No, no, no I swear to God. God. Why are you so mad? It's, it's like I just had a fight, fight with, with a toddler just now, like with a tantrum. But what is the problem? This person writes, a couple of episodes ago when she was jumping around doing frog squats in the bathroom, I said to my husband that I thought she was mixing her painkillers from her boob job with alcohol. The girl has serious issues, but she sure as doesn't choose any healthy coping mechanisms. I wish I could be whatever therapist she's seeing right now. I'd like to be paid for doing nothing. Ooh. But no one wants to be real as And I'm over it. Look, what? What's the problem? We're just talking about everything. What? Get the out of here. Bitches. But please don't ever say like I'm having a, ten a temper tantrum because well, you just acted like you were. No, I didn't act like I didn't that. I'm gonna call it how it is. But yeah. that's not having a temper tantrum. You went like Hoo! and freaked out like a I child. I need to get a temper tantrum. And I'm a child. Toddlers are maniacs that just like do whatever they want. They scream. They have fits. I'm coming. They have tantrums. I will bog around. Go hide. I'm back in a couple minutes. I'm not hiding. Hide. Why? I wanna go home. Get out of here, bitches. But I gotta be transparent. So the 
Dude, can you look at my eyes? Squash this because she wants to leave. What? Sam's a bitch. I'm a child having a temper tantrum, bitch. I brought you in here. I'll take you the f out. I want to fight people, but it's like, you know what? Is it worth me going to jail? Nah. She's like penny pitchers. She's got chum change. She bought a $750,000 house because of me. Brought her in. I'll take her right at the f out. Now, people were calling out this concerning behavior displayed by Angelina. And it looks like she decided to fire back by saying, yeah, I am on so many drugs while ranting to fans after the episodes had been released and people had their commentary. Now, Sammy confronted Angelina for continuing to say her name while complaining, including complaining she heard from others that Angelina talked about her during press events. In a video live stream, Angelina recently addressed some of the fans and some of the critical comments about her behavior. Now, this was in response to the scene where she had her well temper tantrum in the bathroom and she wanted to go after sammy and people felt like she was possibly on something or just you know acting immature episode like it's like my whole life like she's on drugs yeah i okay sure i'm on so many drugs i swear sure okay i forgot to i forgot to say i was on so many drugs well, the last episode, it made me seem like I was on drugs, I guess. I, I don't know. Guys, all right, Tim, I get it. Tim? Listen, Tim, tomorrow it's on like Donkey Kong. The show would be canceled if it wasn't for me. Save for the people in the back, because I don't think a lot of people realize that. I stopped giving I don't know. That means, I know that means a lot of people got to step up. Leave me alone. You want to come with me while I take a now, I think we need to remember that Angelina does come from the show, The Jersey Shore. So she's not going to handle things maybe as any average person. She may be a little bit more aggressive. This person wrote her repeating herself about the drug thing isn't a good look. And she was clearly drunk. Another wrote something is drastically wrong with this woman. One commentator called Angelina so aggressive and nasty, adding that initially they felt for her when she returned to the Jersey Shore, but that has changed. Another person wrote once she got a taste of the victim card, she's been annoying and unapologetic, never taking responsibility for her actions, which is what toddlers do. No wonder Angela is upset because these people are coming for her. This person wrote, well, if she wasn't on drugs last episode, then she's just naturally psychotic with a screeching voice that could attract every stranger dog in New Jersey. This person wrote, watching Angelina, what drugs does she take? She can't be for real. So people are like tweeting about this. Like, oof. I mean, a lot of people are calling it out, which I feel like she seems like she's on something. But, you know, we've seen worse on reality TV, unfortunately. This person wrote, I'm shocked on how no one has called her out or taken her off the show. She's tweaking hard. Her mind is drugged. This person writes, Angelina has to be on drugs or is severely struggling with her mental health. She's too out of touch with reality and she doesn't make sense. It's concerning. Now here is another clip of Angelina going on live stream and telling off her fans, which people who are tuning in, they're gonna be her supporters. So she's speaking to the wrong people. Dana, so let me set up. You're only agreeing with me because I pay you. Oh, no. We're, yes, I do. I have her. We've actually been friends for years. So I would know. Dana knows cool. the back end. <laughs> sh I like, know a lot. <laughs> Dana, have I ever taken out Coke in front of you in your life? Never, ever. Swear on your children. Never, ever, ever. And I would never hang out with somebody that says Coke. I'm not like that. I don't judge anybody. Like, do what you want. But Like, if I did it behind be her back, she wouldn't know it. But, which I don't. But I'm saying she would know everything I did. Because I'm so honest with her. Anything like that, yeah. No. Anybody does. But we're talking about cold thing. You've never ever done that. Ever. Never. Okay? That I've so ever. So off. Yeah. With your shenanigans. I'm not just like a paid hairdresser. Fucking <laughs> ass. Now, it's interesting she's bringing up these specific drugs, and it's acting a little defensive. And if you look at the history of the Jersey Shore, um, the cast has never been shy when it comes to using. Specifically, that white powder, that Christmas snow that she can't stop talking about. This is actually an article way back from 2010, 14 years ago. Radar Online reported that the castmates evaded producers and went on a few cookies 
binges during his or her stay in South Beach. So the website wasn't saying which one, but someone from the Jersey Shore. This is kind of like a blind item. MTV is apparently unaware of what was going on, the source said. Finding someone to buy drugs from in South Beach is easy. I mean, there's people all over the streets asking it to sell it. This person said it's not hard and everyone is discreet. The rest of the cast members apparently knew what was going on, but never alerted the producers. The unnamed Guido Coke fiend apparently became a master at evading cameras and talking in code to satisfy their his or her nose candy habit. Now, I don't know why, but I feel like that's more about Mike, the situation than Angelina. But of course, Angelina may be going through her own thing. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video right now. I have these bandages on my neck Look, because I just got um, acupuncture. I never got an acupuncture before and it wasn't as painful as I thought it'd be. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.